Welcome to uh, the WNT signaling pathway and this is uh, what we are going to talk in this video properly and actually WNT signaling pathway is uh, also termed as a beta catenin signaling pathway. So let me take colors first. Color pastel here. It is also known as the beta catenin, beta catenin signaling pathway. So because it is dealing with the beta catenin inside the cell and the WNT signaling pathway in a huge term, in a major term, in major scale, it is related with uh, development and you are going to find this pathway more in the developmental biology section. Uh, three pathways like WNT pathway, hedgehog pathway and notch pathway. I have uh, all the videos on all this pathway. You can watch those videos in my YouTube channel also. So WNT signaling pathway is a very important signaling pathway during the development of our organs especially heart and also not actually development of organs but also development of cells and other metabolic issues of the cells that's very very important for all this uh, all these pathways so wnt pathway is dealing with beta catenin at the core like any other pathway there should a core molecule inside so the idea here is obviously there's a receptor small uh, it is designated as fz there's a full name we'll be seeing that later so once uh, normally uh, we'll see two situation of this WNT signaling pathway. There are certain genes of the WNT signaling pathways related with WNT uh, signaling pathway. Those genes are called WNT target genes. Now the transcription of those genes are usually turned off when there is no WNT present. Now WNT in this case is the signaling molecule, right? Unlike the MAP kinase pathway where MAP kinase is a part of the internal cellular organization. But WNT signaling molecule is itself a signaling molecule here. So WNT as a signaling molecule will interact with the receptor FZ and then it will bring a destructive sequence. This is called a destructive sequence or destruction box rather. So this destructive sequence made with GS3 key, uh, GSK3, axin, APC and CKI, DVL and all these different proteins. So this is a destruction box or destructive sequence. Now this uh, destructive protein sequence, uh, they ultimately phosphorylate beta catenin and then once uh, the phosphorylate beta catenin, they, they not only phosphorylate actually beta catenin, they phosphorylate DVL mainly. So the picture is not actually correct because the phosphorylate DVL and finally DVL will bring upon ubiquitin molecules. You know ubiquitins are small ubiquitous molecule found in the cell. Uh, when the ubiquitin is tagged with beta catenin, in any molecule inside the cell, if it's ubiquitin tagged, it is taken inside a protein chopping section that's called proteasome complex inside the cell. So this once uh, this ubiquitin, this beta catenin is ubiquitinated, poly ubiquitinated, then beta catenin is brought to proteasome. And then this beta catenin is degraded to smaller fragments. So once that thing is done, there is no beta catenin present. So there is uh, some transcription factor out there that is called TCF and also another thing is there but it's not given here. So it's TCF. It uh, was off. So once the TCF is there and beta catenins are degraded, so it is no longer functional. The genes, the target genes for WNT is uh, the synthesis of the target mRNA are off. So there is no target proteins pro produced. But when the WNT is present, the WNT is going to sit and destructive box there is going to be added uh, to the to the to this to this receptor and there is no destructive box present to break down beta catenin and then the beta catenin signaling will be on so let's see it in much more details here you can see it uh, that this is the receptor that's called frizzled frizzled now once frizzled is present normally uh, there is uh, the set of destruction box sequences uh, it's called as here active GSK3 beta, APC is another protein there and unstable beta catenin. So the thing is all these things now once this inactive dish weld, dish weld is another protein that is present there and dish weld becomes inactive if there is no signaling. So normally if there is no WNT signaling molecule present, result is free so as dish weld. So dish weld is not activated. So as a result, this destruct destructive protein complex that is made up with axin, GSK3 and APC, they are phosphorylated. So they phosphorylated the unstable beta catenin here. 
So once it's phosphorylated, they will bring all those ubiquitin molecules. And ubiquitin is tagged to this beta catenin and it is degraded by the proteasome complex present inside the cell. So now as the beta catenin is degraded, so there is no way it is going to activate the transcription factor, transcription machinery. Because here in the transcription factor, they require this TCF LEF, this section, this combination of proteins, TCF LEF. Now those proteins are present and they are blocked by another protein called Groucho. The only way that this transcription will carry on is to remove Groucho. And the only way to remove Groucho is to add beta catenin there, fully functional active beta catenin there. So once beta catenin is in place with TCF LEF, it will remove Groucho. But as there is no beta catenin here, it is degraded already. So there won't be any removal of Groucho. As a result of that, this transcription of WNT's target genes are off. So there won't be any mRNA, there won't be any WNT inspired proteins inside the cell. Now, if you remember here, once the WNT is present, so you know WNT is acting as a signaling molecule. This is the signaling molecule here. So once WNT is present, it binds with frizzled. Now it's activated. So it brings the receptor that LRP uh, will bring close to each other with the frizzled. So now LRP and frizzled is activated. It will provide the signal to disheveled and disheveled is also active. So as a disheveled is activated, now disheveled can prevent the hydrolysis of beta catenin by this destruct destructive protein complex. So now as disheveled is blocking the activity of this polyubiquitination and degradation by protein box, in that case beta catenin remains stable and now beta catenin will insert itself inside the nucleus where beta catenin will be in direct contact with LEFTCF complex here. As a result, Groucho will be released and the transcription will be carried out. So mRNAs are made from the mRNA it is translated to made proteins, WNT inspired proteins inside the cell. And those proteins are uh, sometimes microtubule proteins. Those proteins are sometimes uh, cellular structure uh, and mobility controlling proteins and all these proteins which are very much required during the active cell division and growth phase of an embryo. So that's why the WNT signaling is related with the embryological scenarios because they produce all those structural role proteins, they give the structural feature as well as some functional feature like metaboli metabolism parts inside the cell. So that's kind of WNT signaling pathway and I hope that's helpful. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this and also share this video, hit a like button. Thank you.